Welcome to Carol's Journey. To today's guest is Varon Chamberlain. Ms. Chamberlain is a professional hairstylist, hairdresser, a manager. She has plenty of credentials and we will be showing you or telling you about some of those credentials in, the, in our next shot. But right now, let's go to Varon Chamberlain. Yes. Welcome, Varon. Thank you. Thank you once again for having me here, Carol. Mm -hmm. It's all my pleasure to be here anytime. Well, today we're going to talk about hair and beauty, which happen to be your expertise. Yes. Now, let's begin with, uh, let's talk about the combs that you have here. Okay, I have um, different uh, styling combs and cutting combs and uh, what we call tail cones. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'll start out with, you know, the, the one that we usually start out just before we would... Uh, shampoo someone's hair. Mm -hmm. um, this is a detangling comb right. and this particular comb uh, is, should be this size and sometimes maybe they're larger and the reason for this if you can see some of the teeth are expanded in this comb is because it detangles the hair particularly when the hair right. is wet right after we shampoo and condition. Right. So this is what we call a, a shampoo detangling comb. Right. Now can you use a brush when your hair is wet? Um, the only time we use a brush is, and it would be a beaded brush, and that would be on very thick hair, hair that is maybe uh, tangled or was slightly dreaded, and we're about to start the process over, and um, it would be a beaded brush because the beaded brush will protect the scalp from being injured, mm -hmm. you know, um, trying to get tangles out. So mm -hmm. that's, we use a brush. Right for that purpose. Right. I noticed at the end you have you have a uh, look like a brush or a comb. Yes, what is that well, th this for? this particular one, this is a styling brush. These brushes are used particularly when we're doing high fashion styling. Um, we can tease with this brush. This brush is almost like um, one would use like bakers use when they're uh, icing the cake, you think of it in that terms and mm -hmm. that uh, gives you an idea what your styling um, mm -hmm. uh, techniques uh, could be like. Uh, this is like to smooth and to spread hair. So you can do a number of things with this mm -hmm. brush and of course it has the ends to roll hair, mm -hmm. to tuck and do different things with mm -hmm. it. This is a styling brush. Mm, okay. That's what that is. Now I see well, can you go through some of all these brushes sure, or, or sure. combs for me? Okay, this this is a comb here. This is um, this is what we call a, a cutting comb, a wave comb. These are the combs that are used when one is in beauty school. This is uh, it has numbers from one to five on there, and it that indicates how many inches of hair you might want to cut from one to five to two to three inches. Mm -hmm. And this is also a wave comb. Mm -hmm. And by that, this is like uh, the basic of what you would do in beauty school. You, you know, everyone starts out with knowing how to finger wave. And this is also called the finger waving comb. Mm -hmm. And when you do the new uh, push waves now, both of these combs are used. This is the tail comb. This is the large size tail combs. We set hair with this. This is a comb that when the hair is very thick that we would use, as opposed to this much finer tail comb. Mm -hmm. This one has a steel end, and this is for fine hair. This is for very thick hair. But this particular comb we use on the ends when we're doing push waves. Mm -hmm. You know, we make waves, and then we hold with this comb, and then we shift with the other mm -hmm. ones. We hold the wave there, and then we shift with it, and we hold mm -hmm. it, and we continue. Right. These are right. both used when we're right. doing push waves. No. And this particular comb, this is another style comb here. This is used to tease hair as well. And this fork on the end is to lift hair, to fluff mm -hmm. hair. You want to spread it out, you fluff it out, and then you can like sort of smooth the hair around. Going back style. to the comb that has that little steel end, what's that steel end used for? Is it used for anything? Well, well, well this is used basically for fine hair. Um, when we set in here, that's fine. And it's also used when we're doing highlights too, right. most of us like to oh, use this particular yeah. end. When you're That's doing right. highlights, we section the hair right. and then we weave small pieces Piece of hair out, out right, separate right. that, we put our aluminum foil on right. and whatever color we chose to use, we use okay. that particular comb. 
And this comb is uh, another style comb and it has two sides. Mm -hmm. This has uh, spaces. This is when we want to make spiky bangs, we comb downward and we spray and then we separate pieces of hair with this. And this is also used just to put sometimes right in the crown of the head and sort of shift it and it gives us a slight fullness in the head. Mm. And that's what this is for. And then of course we still have this fork on the end that we can use to fluff hair right. and to spread hair out. Well, one of the things I like to ask you, and I think our audience would like to know, what is the best way to shampoo your hair? Particularly if you're at, let's say at home, you're not at a beauty shop, what's the best way of shampooing your hair? And when I say that, um, I'm not talking about any particular product in general, uh, in okay. particular product, but I'm talking about in general. Okay, well, I think... How should you start? Where you should start if you're shampooing your hair? If you're shampooing your hair, well, first of all, you want to shampoo your hair where you would be, have the most power of the water. And I think most people will find it most convenient to shampoo the hair in the shower. Uh, or sometimes if you have a special nozzle, some people have a special nozzle on their sink, or what they call a handheld shower nozzle that has a lot of force of the water mm -hmm. and you want to shampoo the hair you want to wet the hair down with warm water pretty warm water and you want to um, start out at least with two shampoos mm -hmm. you know um, you want to spread your shampoo around evenly and massage the scalp very well with using all of your mm -hmm. fingers in the front the back and the sides of your hair yeah. and at the crown mm -hmm. and you want to rinse thoroughly and you want to you re-shampoo the hair again. Mm -hmm. Normally when I shampoo the hair, I shampoo at least three times. Mm -hmm. Two to cleanse and then the third one being a conditioning shampoo. Right. You know. Now, does it matter whether you use hot or cold water? Well, yeah, you want to use, you don't want to use the water too hot. And that, the reason being because you don't want to strip the hair. And if, the, if one has a chemical, you know, in the hair, whether it be a relax or a color, you don't want to strip the hair. You don't want to, because let's face it, um, the hotter the water is, the more the hair is um, penetrated down to a drier state. Mm. So, so when you wet the hair down, you can use your water warm. Mm -hmm. You know, feel it warm but not hot. Mm -hmm. And um, after you shampoo the hair two to three times, it's very important to towel dry the hair. Mm -hmm. You know. I find that that is the key to healthy hair. Mm -hmm. That is the most important um, part of the service when one mm -hmm. is shampooing the hair. Mm -hmm. The hair should be thoroughly dried out and then the conditioning should be uh, applied a after the hair. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is because the hair is nourished very well, very good mm -hmm. when the hair is dry. You know, when it's damp to dry, when you right. put your conditioner on, it penetrates better. Because if we have too much water on the hair after shampooing, right. you know, the conditioner is just sliding off. Mm -hmm. It really is not, you know, the hair is not being nourished. Well, you know, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a break. And, okay. we, and we want you, when you come back to the break, give us a demonstration on the proper way of curling hair, combing okay, hair. Sure, I'll be okay. glad to. Yes. I want you to... I want you all to be able to join us and come back and see a, a brief demonstration on how to properly curl your hair. So you don't have those little crunchy spots in there. Okay. I'm going to begin using a curl formation on the base of the curl. And the reason for that is to give add height to the hair. And when we're going to add height to the hair, we curl what we call on the base. And as you can see that this curl has a height to it. And because we're going to do a bob style, we're going to go to the bottom, the base of the neck of the hair, and we will what we call do a bob curl. A bob curl is when one is wearing the hair in a page, or what we call turned under on the ends. And as you can see, my client has long hair in the back, and we're just going to bend the ends. And this particular curl is off the base. 
This is what we call off the base, meaning that we're not adding height to the hair, but we are just turning the ends under. And of course, curling irons can act as a flat iron as well. When we smooth the hair out, we are making it straighter, and that's what we do when we use flat irons. Moving right along, I'll just take another section. When we're doing curling on the ends, we would like to section the hair from the base of the neck upward. Smoothing that down and curling the ends. And this will give us a nice smooth bob that will be nice and full. When you section the hair as you curl, it gives the hair a nice full bottom. What we call stacking the curls up. The first row is curled under and the next row after that is curled slightly on top of that row so that when we comb this out, we'll have fullness at the base of the neck where the bob is. Again, I'll smooth the hair down and grab just the ends of the hair and turning the ends under and slightly, you know, pulling it out to give the hair a nice full lift. And we're almost to the crown of the head where I will just be sort of what they call bending the hair. Usually when we bend the hair, we use a large curling iron or a flat iron because we just want to add height again, like I said, to the hair. And it's always best when we curl in the hair, cutting anything of that nature. It's always good if you notice I started from center and work my way from side to side. This is when we get a nice even balance um, style technique and you're able to keep evenness when you start from center and work left to right or center right to left. Whichever is easiest for you. And now we are turning the ends under again, slightly above the last row of hair that I just curled. Now, I particularly like to work with these eyes, electric eyes, especially on a relaxed hair because we have a controlled temperature. I know some like to use uh, Marcel eyes, but I don't recommend them on relaxed hair. And you can also work a lot faster when you're using electric irons. And of course, you're protecting the hair as well. Because we know that Marcel irons get hotter and hotter and hotter when we put them into the stove. OK, our last section to the crown. And we're going to make this another curl on base curl, because this is right at the center of the crown where we want to have the height. And if you notice, I'm doing what they call a crocodile curl, and that's so that we get the ends completely turned under, and we don't want it too tight. And if you notice, that curl has a little nice smooth bounce to it. And we'll do the curl on the right side. Same technique. It's going to be on the base. Whenever we're doing on the base, like I said, that's when we want to add height to the hair. And a crocodile curl is a curl that it swings left and then right, or either right and then left. The same way when we start our sectioning curling the hair. Again, another on the base curl. I swing right, bring it forward, and I swing left. That's what we call a crocodile curl. That is a complete curl in diameter, meaning it is turned all the way around from end to end.